Hey guys and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to do some crafting with you. In fact I have already talked about the new feature in Home Assistant in some previous videos, namely energy management. And today I want to integrate the electricity meter into Home Assistant and calculate the total energy values and even the euro price that I have to pay per day or per month, how it all works, what parts we need and much more after the intro. Enjoy! So, first of all, we need to start with some basics. We need to think about how we can connect the electricity meter at all. There are various possibilities. Most electricity meters in any case have an IR interface and we will take advantage of that. It works as follows. There is a small light, a thousand, so you can at least imagine a small infrared light that blinks briefly with every thousandth of a kWr. We will take advantage of this light and essentially build a sensor that allows us to read the data and thus find out how much electricity we have consumed. This is not my invention either. It has come out as a project with the new Home Assistant update and is called Home Assistant Glow. I will link it for you below in the video description if you want to read through it again. Basically, you don't need much. You need a microcontroller, which I already have here, a Wemos D-Mini. It has the advantage of being relatively small and already comes with Wi-Fi on board. This means we have already addressed the issue of connectivity. Then we obviously need an IR laser, and we have to use a very special one, which I will link to you in the description. They are relatively difficult to buy, and that's why I took the opportunity when I imported them back then. It took forever, but I ordered 20 pieces right away. I would like to raffle one of them to one of you, and I will explain how at the end I will also link the others in my shop below. If you want to get them from there, you can certainly do that. Otherwise, I will of course link you to the AliExpress links, where you can order it directly from China. Caution. And this is very important to mention here. You need an IR reading head, and they look almost identical to regular light sensors. However, if you order these light sensors, they will not work at all. I did the same thing at first. I simply ordered a light sensor from Amazon because it looks similar, tested it out, and it just didn't work at all. I also have one of those over there. It looks a little bit different. I'll show you a close-up of the two sensors here so you can see the difference. In any case, you just need to connect this sensor to the microcontroller. It's super easy. Simply connect ground to ground, power to the power pin, and then there is a data pin called D, which you connect to the microcontroller using the port specified in the video description. I will also show this again, and then you have basically completed the installation into the D-printed case, which is also linked in the project. If you don't have your own 3D printer, you can either make something yourself or ask in the comments. Maybe I will offer something else then. And that's basically it. The last two, and actually the only two key points now, are that you obviously need a Wi-Fi connection to the corresponding microcontroller, and you must somehow ensure the power connection. For me, I managed to get a Wi-Fi connection, but it hasn't worked perfectly with the electricity. What I did was simply connect a power bank to the device, but there were some issues because the microcontroller theoretically draws so little power that most power banks shut off. I was also able to work around this with a USB-C dongle, which somehow drew enough power for it to work. I will include the entire setup in the description below so you can reorder it if you wish. The power bank works quite well, so I thought I would show you how the whole thing looks when it's fully assembled. So, here we have the electricity meter, which is simply attached to the IR light, and then I ran a long cable through the electrical box, going outside at the top, because when the electrical box is closed, the Wi-Fi signal is relatively strongly blocked, and you wouldn't receive any signal. The microcontroller is then placed on top of the electricity box, connected to power with the power bank, as I mentioned earlier. And this is how my setup works as well. Finally, I will show you the software part of it all, so how to set everything up. To do this, we will jump into the Home Assistant installation and install ESP Home. This works well and is actually the easiest way to set everything up in 2021. To do this, we go to the supervisor and install everything, open ESP Home, and then we need to import the project YAML. It is important that we now add the secrets, namely the Wi-Fi password, and of course the admin passwords for the user interface that will later be installed on the Arduino. And then we basically have it, now just connect the microcontroller to your Home Assistant instance so that the two can connect with each other and then press upload and of course select USB, then everything will be built. It may take a bit longer on the Raspberry Pi to build everything and download all the libraries, but in the end, everything should be installed on your Arduino. So how can you get one of these light sensors from me? Just leave a comment explaining how you plan to use it 
and then I will select one next week in the next video and raffle it off to that person. If you want a follow-up, since I don't know how long the battery lasts yet, feel free to write it in the comments. And I will check it out and possibly include that information in one of the next videos about how long the battery has lasted. Otherwise, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even found it helpful. If so, I would really appreciate a rating and I would say we'll see each other again next week on Wednesday at time. Until then, take care and goodbye. Usand.